Hello, and welcome to Maritime Safety Talks. In today's video, I get a permit from a shipyard to show you how the shipyard handled and removed the fouling. We're diving into a crucial topic for anyone involved in maritime operations. We'll explore fouling, where it comes from, how it affects ships, the types of fouling, and how it's handled in shipyards. Let's get started. What is fouling? Fouling refers to accumulating unwanted material on solid surfaces, particularly in marine environments. These materials can be biological, like algae and barnacles, or non-biological, like silt and debris. Fouling typically occurs on the hulls of ships, underwater structures, and marine equipment. Where does fouling come from? Marine fouling is a natural process that occurs when organisms and particles in the water attach to submerged surfaces. There are two main categories. Microfouling. This involves the formation of biofilms and microbial layers. These microscopic organisms create a slimy layer on surfaces. Macrofouling. This includes larger organisms like barnacles, mussels, seaweed and algae that attach to the surface over time. The organisms in the ocean are constantly looking for surfaces to cling to, and ships provide an ideal environment for this process. How fouling affects ships. Fouling has several significant impacts on ships. Increased drag. When organisms attach to the hull, they create additional resistance in the water. This increased drag slows the ship down and requires more power to maintain speed. leading to higher fuel consumption. Corrosion. Certain fouling organisms can accelerate the corrosion of metal surfaces, compromising the structural integrity of the ship. Maintenance costs. Regular cleaning and the application of anti-fouling coatings are necessary to manage fouling. leading to increased operational costs. Environmental impact. Fouling organisms can be invasive species. When a ship travels from one region to another, it can introduce these organisms to new environments, disrupting local ecosystems. Types of fouling that can be removed. In a shipyard, various types of fouling are removed to ensure the vessel operates efficiently. Soft fouling. This includes slime and algae, which can be relatively easy to remove with pressure washing or gentle scraping. Hard fouling. This includes barnacles, mussels, and other calcareous organisms that attach firmly to the hull. Removing hard fouling requires more intensive methods such as scraping and grinding. Handling fouling in the shipyard. 
Shipyards use several methods to manage and remove fouling. Dry docking. Ships are brought into dry docks where the water is drained, allowing workers to access and clean the hull. This method is effective for thorough cleaning and inspection. Pressure washing. High pressure water jets are used to remove soft fouling like slime and algae from the hull surface. Scraping and grinding. Hard fouling organisms are removed using mechanical scrapers and grinders. This process is more labor intensive but necessary for stubborn fouling. Anti-fouling paints. After cleaning, ships are coated with anti-fouling paints that contain biocides to prevent organisms from attaching to the hull. These paints gradually release chemicals that deter fouling over time. Ultrasound technology. Some modern shipyards use ultrasound systems to prevent fouling. These systems emit sound waves that disrupt the attachment process of organisms. Fouling is a significant challenge in the maritime industry, affecting the performance and maintenance costs of ships. By understanding where fouling comes from, its impact, and how it's managed in shipyards, we can appreciate the importance of regular maintenance and innovative solutions in keeping our vessels efficient and environmentally friendly. Thank you for watching Maritime Safety Talks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insightful content on maritime safety and compliance. Stay safe till next time.